Britain and America talking to each other about the issues of the region, pulling in the same direction as much as possible, and constantly interacting with the region itself. And in the past, the US and the UK have very quietly been encouraging the new Pakistan to, um, to discuss the difficult issues, both of uh, trade, but also today, um, and the other issues, uh, which, uh, which divide it. So I think there's a, you know, that there are collaborative elements, um, as, well as, as well as competitive ones. I think that's, that's absolutely correct. I think that I think that in um, in many respects that the the, the, the factors affecting um, these Arab countries are probably rather different from the the uh, economic and political and social factors affecting sub-Saharan Africa. I think there probably are different cases. It must be some broad concerns, but but, um, but I think as far as the Arab Spring is concerned, that we you know the UK government has um, embraced it, has welcomed it. We recognise that we're not the the key players in it. These are internally led revolutions, um, which are about the people of the countries themselves. They're looking after their own um, political dignity, their economic futures, and so on. It hasn't really been about the West. It hasn't been about the Arab-Israel issue. It hasn't been about America or the West. It's been about their own countries. Ultimately, our task is to fashion a new world order uh, which accepts that China is going to have um, a, sig a significantly increased place, but where you don't um, move you know, uh, easily or automatically to some form of military confrontation. I think that's, uh, that's avoidable. Um, but uh, I believe that working with China in, um, in international organizations, by having a robust dialogue with them on trade access and intellectual property and so on, that's the way to carry this forward and, cre and create a more mutually profitable uh, framework. So we are completely unabashed proponents of, uh, of open markets, uh, open, open investment flows uh, and so on. Um, and I think, you know, not in, you know, with China, it's a very, it's a more complicated business of, of, um, ref of reforming and changing their economy, so that they they have a more consumer culture um, and are able, therefore, to contribute more to world growth than they've um, they've done in the past.